Uh, hi everyone, it's uh, PC Player Malk here. Um, so this is what I'm going to have a go at is having a survival series, and this is based as much as I can on the current survival uh, competition between Dagwin and Chainsaw. Um, so this is on No Man's Land, and to be honest, it's it's a map that I've I've never really had much experience with. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube playing on it, and I've. It's difficult to say, but I've never really enjoyed the series, um, mainly because it seems that people start out with nothing but a tractor trailer and a chainsaw, and you just spend the first sort of ten episodes watching them cut trees. So what I like more about this series that uh, Chainsaw and Dagwin are doing is that they're starting with a hundred thousand pound, a plot of land, and a house of some sort. Um, so I think that'll give a much better start um, and avoid. A large amount of cutting down trees. Now, I don't know what um, I don't know what difficulty they're playing on. I've put this on the um, the hard mode. Um, it's supposed to be a challenge, so I suppose I should give it a go on on, a, on hard. Um, but everything else, as far as I can say, I don't. They haven't released a mod pack of of what they're using, what's available. So I've just picked a lot of equipment off the farming simulator mod hub and uh, we'll see where it goes if i if i find anything that they have that's that's going to be better i will add it later on but let's get into it so if we go to the map um right so this is kind of what we've got here um i'm not sure i mean there's things like this field 13 up here which um seems to have a lot of grassland with it not much forest that would be handy however it is quite away from the store i'd like to stay closer to the store uh, and avoid a lot of trees if i can um i mean let's go and have a look at like this 54 which is this way um so if we'll just fly up here uh, we're about uh, you know, miles away from it so that's actually going to be quite hilly so that's probably not good seeing as we're going to have low powered tractors um, let me just change the the speed that I can move at. Okay, that's better. So perhaps somewhere around here would be handy. You know, there's a little bit of a track there underneath the grass. Um, so where are we at here? Oh, we're in 55. So maybe if we go up to 45, which is the other side of these trees, somewhere around here. Yeah, perhaps this could be maybe maybe stick the house somewhere in there. Um, okay, so we'll we'll go with that. So farmland, let's buy it. It's uh, eighty five thousand. So let's buy that. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then we'll need to get a farmhouse, landscaping, construction, uh, farmhouses. So. I mean, it doesn't really matter what I pick. Um, I kind of like the idea of being in a trailer. Um, there's the tent. I did find the, the sort of things that they're using here. So let's have a quick look. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe we could do something like that. Oh, land's not owned by me. Right, okay. Um, Let's go. Let's go here then. Let's put it between these two trees. There we go. So that's that sorted. Okay, so here we are. This is our this is our home for a, quite a few episodes, I expect. Um, as you see, I've adjusted the the account, the bank balance now, so we're down to a hundred thousand pound, which is what we're allowed to start off with. Um, going back to the map. So I think. We'll maybe just start making fields. Well, maybe just make a small field to start with in here. Um, this side of the track. We'll maybe try and keep these tracks um, permanent in the map. Um, which maybe means that uh, I could do something up here. And maybe a smaller one in here. And then we'll take it from there. So let's go to the store. And we'll have a look at what tractors we're going to buy. Um, so what I've noticed... Um, that happened with the start of Dagwin. I noticed he went for quite a weak tractor, and it, I think 
isn't the best idea. Um, I need something that's cheap, something that's around you know 100 horsepower. Four wheel drive will be handy. Um, doesn't look like any of these will be good enough. The Ursus, what's that? That's 50 horsepower ish, 45, 50. Um, I also want to keep it really cheap. Or as, che or as cheap as we can do so some of these masses 50 no, that's not going to be any good well there's a nice case of 25,000 I mean that's that might not be a bad idea um, both the same I could get one for 20,000 the Hurleyman's a bit expensive Ford's would be nice to have but no good Fiat's uh, 24,000 wow actually so for 24,000, you could have this Fiat, um, which is 132 horsepower. It is a quarter of our money. Um, and I'm aware that if we go straight into crops, which I think we're going to have to do, it doesn't leave much for a combine. Um, so what we're looking at for a combine, uh, what's this one here? So this is 28,000, um, 28,000 and combinations, let's just see which header it it needs. So 6,000 for that, 28,000 for that is 34,000. Um, oh, we've got the FMZ, I mean... That was 23, wasn't it? And that was 20. Oh, hang on. Why did I, why did I miss this one here? 20,000. I like the look of that one. So let's just have a look. The head is 6. So 26,000. Um, yeah, okay. So we'll go with that. Wheel setup. Standard. Uh, cabin. I don't want to pay... Right, so it's just going to be bog standard for £20,000. So we'll buy that. Well, $20,000 we've got it set to. Um, right, so combinations, we need the header. Um, there's nothing we can choose on that, so we'll just have it on that, 26. Right, so we'll get back to the tractors. I think we were choosing, there was the, which one was it again? Yeah, it was this Fiat here, wasn't it, for 24000 So that will mean we spent half our money um, on... Yeah, well, spent half our money on just the tractor and the combine. But that's fine. Right, so let's get some tools. Cultivators, I do have the cultivator mod um, to allow you to create fields with a cultivator. Uh, so let's have a look. So that one there is two and a half meters. It's twelve thousand. It's not easy, is it? It's not an easy choice. All right. Okay. Well. So also after a cultivator, we're going to need a planter or seeder. Um, I do have. There's this case one, which I think. Does the case take, it does take fertilizer, it's 5.2 meters, and then we've got this, um, this massy one, which also takes fertilizer, which is not, it means twice the price, and it's smaller, so it's probably not the best one to go for. I mean, this is the obvious answer, so, okay, so we'll have that. Uh, we'll get that cut and we're going to need a cultivator so we'll get that cultivator yeah save some money go middle middle of the road spring road is beetle pegged safety shank oh let's have the springs okay and then um, we're going to need a sprayer because we'll need um, to kill the weeds off so we have yeah I found these two so this lizard one which I'm really not a fan of the lizard stuff just because I'd rather keep it branded um, but we've got this one here which 
so that's eight meters and that's eight meters so we'll go with this one i think um decals oh well decals are free so we'll have them we'll also need some herbicide so we've got that there we'll buy that and then right so we'll jump to the uh, tractors so i think the first thing i want to get is we'll get the tractor and we'll take the cultivator down Yeah, I can't believe this is uh, this is quite a good buy. This tractor, plenty of power, four-wheel drive. I'm assuming it's four-wheel drive. I mean, the tyres are. Yep, there's the diff casing and the prop shaft, so definitely four-wheel drive. Okay, so here we are back in our bit of land, and there's supposed to be a road under here, but I'm not really seeing it um, from any angle. So I think what we'll do is we'll head up um, we'll head up the side here and we'll have a look at creating a field. So let's have a look at starting about here maybe. I could probably get over a little bit. About here. All right. Um, so let's have a look. Create fields. I like create fields. Okay. All right. Let's get going then. So we'll just drive up here and see what we can see what we can create. So I could have taken the grass off first, but what I did notice from what chainsaw did he got an extra stage of fertilization because he cultivated the long grass so i think that's not a bad effort um probably a good thing to do first off so i, I maybe i'll just make a long and thin field to start with i'll stop just in front of this tree maybe And just get it squared up. It's about right there. And we'll just head over so we're kind of in front of these before we get to these trees here. Somewhere like that, I think will do. Um, I also believe that what is allowed is to use workers. So I might be doing that at some point. Now, I probably could have come over and the another width. Um, and it's probably going to be about there. Come on. Now then, if I back up, I don't really want to make a mess on a nice square corner. That'll do. I think. We turned a bit, we turned. I didn't mean to turn.
Yeah, here, I'll spin it. Okay. So that's going to be the start of our first field. So I'll just um, get all this cultivated and then I'll see you when I finished. Right, so I uh, I don't know what's happened here. Um, it might be because it's a feared, but my tractor seems to have stopped. I literally cannot move forwards or backwards. Oh, it's creeping ever so slowly. And I don't know what's happened. Um, I'm just going to knock this limit of fields off. Let me move it down, see if that makes any difference. No, it doesn't. Um... So I mean it's in forward four and if I knock it down to first gear it doesn't make any difference. So I I, I don't know what's happened. It's the most bizarre thing ever. I'll tell you what, I'll just reset the tractor and the implement. Um let's see what happens. Uh, it's working again. I have heard that FIAT stands for Fix It Again Tomorrow, so maybe next episode we'll find the same problem. But for now, let's just see how we get on. Okay, so it looks like it's sorted itself out. Um, go back to creating fields. And let's crack on. Okay, so that's the start of the field. Um, it's all right. We haven't got any big stones either, which is is going to be good because I can get a cheap roller and get rid of these stones. Um, I'm looking at the mini map at the size of the field I've created, and I'm thinking it's really not big enough. Uh, perhaps let's have a look. So we're in August. Yeah, we're in August, um, and we can't actually plant anything but canola. So. Um, I'm just wondering if Dagwin and Chainsaw are using seasons because they would have started in August. I know that Chainsaw planted canola, but I'm sure that Dagwin went for wheat and it allowed it, so I'm not sure how that worked. Perhaps they aren't using seasons, um, which I would have to change um, if I want to keep this even. Yeah, but so we'll just go. We'll go with canola for now, anyway. Um, I think it's a good, good uh, crop to start with, anyway. Let's get rid of the cultivator, and 
we'll go back to the store and pick up our drill oh we're going to need some seed as well if I just use this little area here beside the bush to separate it from where our little house is our tent house okay right we'll get back to the store I'll see you over there and we'll get some seed fertilizer and come back with the planter okay so that's our planter I mean it's huge compared to the tractor it almost looks like it wouldn't work but well let's hope it does so we'll get a bag of fertilizer and we'll get a bag of seeds So where have they spawned in at? That's handy. So let's just head back and we'll get this filled up. Okay. Perfect. okay so I don't think that's gonna it's gonna take too long with the size of with the size of this planter to the uh, compared to the um, field so let's just get planted get some canola in the ground uh, and then I'll look at getting a roller and we'll get it all sorted properly whoa we're getting in a bit of a speed wobble on here and I'm not sure if I'm missing the edge I don't know oh well I'll just carry on and um, I'll see you at the end didn't I wait for you didn't I say I'm sorry didn't I do the best I could you have high expectations don't I know that you've explained it how I should prove myself to you But I can't when I'm with you I need to love again But I can't when I'm with you I need to find my way by myself Okay, so this is the final pass now. Um, I think this is an absolute winner. This uh, using this seeder, I mean, it's five meters, and we're seeding at eleven miles an hour. I can't imagine there's anything much quicker than this. Certainly not what you'd tow behind a um, hundred and thirty-five horsepower tractor. Okay. Yeah, so it's not too bad. Let's just stop here. We'll get out and um, and have a quick look. Okay, so it's not looking too bad. Uh, it's definitely small, and I just cannot believe how big a field chainsaw actually made in his video. Thinking perhaps maybe um, I could do another strip in between these two trees here. Um, if I just go over to this tree, see where this is within our land boundary. So yeah, we could get a fairly decent strip in there, in this area. Um, basically, it would be another one, the same length as that, but a little bit wider. Yeah, so we could do that in the next in the next episode. But just for now, let's get back into the tractor. We'll drop the planter off and we'll get back to the store and we'll have a look um, for a roller okay so we're back at the store now um, and we want to have a look at rollers I did find um, 
Oh no, I'm sure I downloaded different mods to this. Where would they be? I wonder if they're under miscellaneous. Uh, I'm not sure where they would be, so I'm just going to nip out the game. Um, and I'll come back when I find out what's happened. Okay, so we're back at the uh, dealership. Um, and I have sorted out the roller issue, I think. That's looking a bit better. Um, so what we've got here, we've got one that's three meters, three meters, three meters. And the lizard one, which is, I don't really want to have quite like the look of this one here. Um, touch type three point, there's a toolbar. I think I'll go with this one. Um, and I might, uh, no, let's, let's, let's try it. Well, we'll try it. We'll do it without a toe. Um, we've got the three point linkage one and we'll just check. We can always modify it. Um, I don't know if I'll need a front weight. I'm hoping we won't. Still don't know where those concrete rollers are at though. Oh no, we're fine, we're fine. Right, so we'll go and get this rolled. So it looks as though not all of these stones are actually small stones. There must be some medium ones in there as well, which aren't getting pushed into the ground. Um, I didn't think, I didn't think they looked at anything other than small stones, but it is what it is, I suppose. Okay, so I'll just finish this off now, and then um, I'll see you at the end when the field's all rolled. Okay, so uh, that's me finished with the roller. Um, we'll just head into the... Uh, what are these fields? Here, look. There's some grapes. What's that all about? Who's planted those? Um, what have we got over there? Sorghum? No. Olives? What the hell is that field? It's not barley. It's not oats. It's potatoes. Oh, maybe I have to have a quick look up there and check out on those. Is there any others? Anyway. Um, yeah, so we've Obviously, we've got our canola planted here now. If we have a look um, at the state it's in, it's growing. Um, okay, so it really need, it needs plowers and it needs limed as well. Um, I think we've got rid of... I think there's some little bits there that need rolling. Um, I'm not sure what all those lighter fertilized areas are why they're why they're there but anyway they're there and all the stones that are left i'm pretty sure that these stones will all be medium stones i think the rollers will only get rid of the light stones so i think i've just got a couple of bits there to just to that i missed just to cover over so if I have a look, there was one down this edge. I think I can see. I can see the bit in the middle that I've missed. That's that bit there, and then I think I might have just it down a little bit late now oh, we got rid of those stones as well so I wonder what's going on with these stones I wonder if I'm just not catching it quite right with the yeah it's got rid of those 
I might just have a little investigation and try and run over them with the middle of the roller. They've gone. Well, that's better. And they've all gone. Right, so I don't know why it's been missing them to start with. Um, I, I have to admit, I didn't think they were any big stones in there. They all looked like small ones. Those ones don't want to go. Some here, so I'll line up with the middle of the tractor. Again, yeah, and they've gone. All oh, right. So I kind of have to go over this again to a degree. Now I think the Fiat's not, apart from that one fault that we had where it, it got stuck, the Fiat's not been too bad. The gears are a bit, they don't seem to be when you want to go in reverse and stop, you have to fully stop, release the trigger and then go for reverse again doesn't seem to like it if you um, if you hold your finger on the reverse trigger which is also the brake oh yeah we're getting rid of all these dog right so I'll just um, get rid of all these stones right well I think that's um, that's as good as I'm prepared to do really uh, could be at it all day So I think there's something else I would like to have a look at before I finish. Because um, it kind of got me thinking that, you know, we've only got $26,000 left. Um, and we've got to get through to harvest. So what I was wondering is about a greenhouse maybe. Um, so what will we have? Production, uh, factories selling greenhouses. So uh, I have got some modded greenhouses in. They aren't very expensive. Um, so small greenhouse, that's a bit overlaps with another object. <laughs> um, so I'm wondering if I should maybe spend a bit of money on a greenhouse get some production going and then that way we'll have at least some income coming in should we go for it somewhere around here then okay there we go so we've got a greenhouse now um we're gonna need to get some water so i need to find a bowser uh, what would that come under now? Miscellaneous, maybe? So that is nine and a half thousand. It's a little bit more than I want to spend. Um, tell you what, I shall go and have a look in the um, in the mod hub, see what I can find. Okay, so um, what I've got now is I've downloaded, um, it's in animals, I think. So I have these and I thought these were maybe mods, but they're not. So that's a mod, um, the Joskin for 5,000 or 8,000. For 8,000, I can get 4,300 litres. Um, also got these two um, Abbey ones, 8,000, I get 6,000, so that's not as good as the uh, Joskin one. And then this one just holds 2,000 litres. Um, so, decisions, decisions, I think the Joskin one. So let me have a quick look, so just to make sure, 4,300 litres for 8,000. And I think, is that not a base game, Joskin? 7,000 litres is 9,000. Right. Um, yeah, so I think we'll go with this one. 
And oh, I need to change these plates. I haven't. Uh, type one. This is the one I want. Uh, quite happy with the color scheme. I don't think. Do I want to go for the bigger one for eight thousand? I just don't know. Um, why not? I'm sure, if I don't, I'll only regret it at some point when I have to keep going and filling it up. Okay, so here's our trailer. Um, I suppose we still have to get the combine back at some point. Now, I'm just wondering where we can fill this up. I know there is a lake um, at the top end of the map. I'm just wondering if there's something around here. So that's the animal deal, gas station, vehicle shop, farm shop, farm shop, farm shop. Okay. Um, well, we'll just have a quick check that if I get too close to this, although I think you might be able to fill this just you know, with with diesel or with petrol or something. Yeah, right, I think we're going to refuel the tractor there, so let's not bother. Right, we'll go and have a look for the... Um, We'll go and have a look for the lake and hopefully we can fill up with the lake. If not, I can put in a point to um, to fill up from. Okay, so here we are, we're at the lake. Um, you can see that oat field that um, we found at the start of the game. So that must be a result of the, um, the sort of the main farmer easy mode be interesting let's go we can go and check out the um, the grape the vines okay so can I fill up why is it not letting me fill up um, so can I not fill up from this lake doesn't look like I can all right um, Right, so we'll have to put in some sort of a uh, water fill point, I think. Okay, so we're back at our farm, if we can call it a farm. Um, so it looks like we're going to have to put in a water fill point. So we'll have to go to... I wonder if our tractor's ever going to stop. There we go. Um, it didn't want to start before, now it doesn't want to stop. So, construction, um, what will it be under? Containers, there we go, here we are. So what we've got here, we've got a small petrol tank, a medium petrol tank, a large petrol tank, all petrol, fertilizer tank, water tank, buying station, water tank, and supply your water tanks with fresh water. So that's a no man's land mod. So is that somewhere on the map then? Um, I'll tell you what, let's just enter this vehicle. Let's have a quick look around. I mean, it's not there. It's not in the animal dealership. It's not going to be in the showroom. And it's definitely not here. So okay, so it's it's not going to be anywhere about. So we'll just um, I mean, is this something we could do? We could we could do this one, couldn't we? Um, where do we want to have it? We could maybe put it somewhere around here. Oh, of course, because this one's this one's usually over by the fountain, uh, by the by the lake. I remember that now. Okay, let's just put that there. There we go. And we'll go and fill up. See what it costs us if it costs us anything. I think you might actually have to get out and switch it on. 
thinking about it there we go and then we can fill up there we are and it's not it's actually going to be free water which is fair because in the in the game in the normal game it is this is exactly the same water station that you'd have available to you so I don't feel like it's cheating uh, I can always change it if if that's not in the in the rules that chainsaw and Dagwin are playing okay so that's us full And I'm guessing that we refill here. Okay, so let's get out the tractor. Um, now we'll just go to the production menu. So I think what I've always found is that, well, tomatoes seem to be the best. Um, best one to buy so we'll give tomatoes a go I'll maybe just fill up one more time I'm sure that will definitely be enough for a couple of episodes oh I forgot this thing it only it's only activated for a certain amount of time Okay, and we'll just leave the uh, Bowser there. Okay, so this is uh, end of the first episode. I don't think we've done too bad. So we've got our first field in. Uh, with the canola planted in it. I say well, definitely he's on the smaller side of what I could have done. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to get away without taking trees down. Um, and that rock's a bit annoying, but it's not bad for first field, I suppose. I say, well, next episode, we'll put in a big field in, in this area here and plant some wheat. Um, but yeah, so oh, one last thing. Let's go and have a quick look. Um, over, over, over this way, I think there was some grapevines. That's what it seems to suggest on the map. Down here, I went too far. Is this then there? Okay, so that's a bit weird. There's not actually any grapevines here. But yeah, so that's the end of the of the episode, guys. So we'll uh, I'll see you next week. Um, and we'll move. We'll be moving on to the next month. We'll start to have some um, some weeds, no likely growing in here. We should see our crops start to sprout, and we'll just keep going. So thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye bye for now.